All right, this is going to be step number 19. Um, all you want to do is bring this block down um, to where it's not hitting any gears inside um, inside there, the stepper motor or anything, and uh, then back off back off this nut right there, so you get a little gap there. And then we'd previously put that Allen wrench screw back in. And so you just want to take that out. And I'm sorry the lighting's not very very good in here, but I'll show you. We're gonna take that and drop it in right there. And there's a hole for that Allen wrench screw on that side, and the nut that we were just talking about is gonna slide in there. And we're going to tighten the nut on the bottom. Some things you can watch out for is um, notice that the wires on the nut they kind of point towards the back um, away from the fan there. Okay we're going to just drop that in There we go, try to get a better shot underneath that for you. Okay, after uh, putting this in, you want to leave your and bottom nut loose so that you can align things around. Now you want to place your Allen wrench screw in first. And once that's in, um, then you just take your wrench and tighten down that nut. Alright, there you go. That's pretty much it for step number 19. Alright, for step number 20, we're going to get two uh, M318s. That's your little bag there. Grab those two screws. You're going to get your fan and you're going to get your air direction deal there. And if you look on their housing there, there's a screw in that hole in that corner and a screw hole in that corner. And uh, first thing you want to do is uh, this is gonna go like oops, this is gonna go like this, but you want to get your air duct direction and uh, put it in there first. Because on mine, I had to sand it down quite a bit to get it to fit in there. So you want to assemble that before you put it on there. And for this, it's just pretty straightforward. Sorry about that. It's just pretty straightforward. You just get yourself your Phillips screws drop them in and get your other one put it in and again on all of the stuff you don't want to put it down too tight just enough to hold it on and with that you're done with step number 20